hi i am glad to welcome you back to my channel please subscribe and today we're making this amazing necklace materials needed include glass uh, black glass crystal beads two um, um hook closure antique gold gold seed beads white seed beads cream beads transparent yarn oh yeah transparent yarn bendable pin they are bendable a beading plier and a cutter the first thing you want to do is to take your measuring tape and measure um, 65 inches, uh, 65 centimeter um, of your transparent yen. So you're going to measure in two places, one 65 centimeter and the other will be 75 centimeter. So that I have already done. I have already measured it and cut it out right here. And the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking one crimp bead and i am just going to be attaching it to like the end of both um transparent um yarn so you want to have something like this so i'm going to have like the both of them and I'm going to put them in my crimp bead. Just like that. And I am going to press them down. So this secures my bead. And the next thing I'm going to do is to take the shorter one. And I'm going to start beading. I'm going to take the 65 centimeter long um transparent yarn and i'm going to start beading i'm going to take seven of my white sand bead or seed bead i'm going to take seven of it six seven so once i have seven of it i'll take one gold seed bead i'll take one black um, glass crystal bead and i'll take one gold again so once i have this i'm going to continue doing this I'm going to start again with my white um, seed bead. I'm going to take seven again. Four, five, six, seven. I'll take one gold seed bead and I'll take one crystal seed bead um, um, crystal glass bead and I'm going to also take one gold so this is what I have I'm going to continue doing this I'm going to do it again I'm going to take now seven from here one two three four five six seven i'm going to take one gold bead one black um glass crystal bead 
and one gold bead and I'm going to continue so now I have my desired length and this is about um, just trying to measure my length and it is about forty two centimeters exactly 42 centimeters so i'm going to stop there this means i used 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 black um crystal glass beads so now i'm going to secure this by putting my transparent yarn back into the last bead and I'm just going to pull it out like that so that my beads don't go anywhere. The next thing I want to do is to now take my longer transparent yarn and I start to bead on it as well. So the first thing I'm going to do also is to bead nine of this um, white um, seed beads. I'm going to pick white and um, nine of these beads right now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So once I have nine of this bead, the next thing I want to do is to put, I'm going to release it a little bit from here so that I have more space. I want my beads to be a little bit free so that I can work on them. So once I have the nine, I'm going to now put them through the gold the black and the gold again. So I'm going to put them through this and I pull it out just like that so that it gives me this loop right under there. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. Oh, I didn't put it in the second gold. I'm going to put it in the second gold. So it gives me this loop and I'm just going to continue this process by the time I I press it down at the end with my um, frame bead it's all going to form these little little loops at the um, bottom so I'm going to pick another nine beads from the white ones So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm just going to do the same thing I did. I'm going to pass it through the gold, the black and the gold. And you can see it's going to form that loop so I'm just going to continue doing this until I have it up onto the last uh, crystal bead so I'm going to do one more time I'm going to show it one more time one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine. So once I have my nine, I reach out to the next gold, black gold, and I just put it in just like that.
so this is what we would have so I'm so now I have um, achieved my line up to the end and once you have done that you should have something like this so to secure my beads at the end of the transparent um, yarn I'm just going to pass it pass my transparent yarn back through the last bead and I'll make sure it's tight enough so before you go on you want to make sure that you have pulled everything together and they are all tight enough as you can see they are all setting and sitting on one another the next thing I want to do is to put my crimp bead through this um, transparent yarn just like I did at the beginning I have one crimp bead that is holding them together so I'm just going to take my crimp bead and I'm just going to pass the through uh, the two um, transparent yarn through and then I clip it down you'd have something like this and then you want to clip it down So I'm just clipping it tightly and then after doing this I'm going to cut off the rest of my transparent yarn with my cutter so I'm just going to cut them off So there we have it. So now the next thing we want to do is to attach our hooks to the um, bead. And I have gone ahead and I have done one of this. This is what I'm going to be using to hook here, to hook the um, um, crimp bead, just to like cover it up to make it. Um, a little neat so I'm just going to show you how I did this oh I think it's already hooked in okay so um, you want to take your bendable pin I showed you this at the beginning a bendable pin um, this one has a head but I don't need the head I don't have an ordinary one so I'm just going to use the one I have so you want to take your plier and you know measure like maybe two centimeters or three and then you would bend your bendable pin just a little bit to the back like that and then you go to the top and then you just make it come over itself like that So there you have like a head of your pin. So once you have been able to achieve this, you're just going to cut your pin off somewhere here. You want to have maybe some space. So I've cut off my pin and I have something similar to this. As you can see, they both have like hook hands. So this one I have attached to where my crimp bead is. I'm just going to press it down with my plier so that it doesn't um, come out of where it is. Just like that. So you want to do the other side as well. You, if it's too looking too small, you can just reveal it a little bit like that. Put in the end of your bead where you have your crimp bead, and then you press it, and there it is. This isn't going anywhere. So I still have some leftover transparent yarn here, so I'm just gonna cut it off. And there you have it. 
So this is now where I need my hook covers. I'm just going to put this in to cover up. And if you feel this isn't covering it well, or if I still have another um, accessory that I can use to cover it up well. I'm not sure I can find it right now. Yeah, there it is. So these ones are like antique gold antique accessories you could um just put it in like this i think they cover well much better these ones are smaller so these ones cover well so the next thing you want to do is just to put you put your hook sorry your hook into this like this and then we do what we did before you take it a little bit to the back you hold it down take it a little bit to the back like this and I'll do that again so you take it a little bit to the back like that and then you bring it forward just to secure You want your hook to be in there in the loop and then you bring it down just like that just to secure your hook so you want to maybe just have like minor adjustments to it And there you have it your hook has been properly secured you could push this down a little bit I'm going to push it down because I want it to really stay in there so there you have it your hook so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to be using the same accessories. So it's just putting it in like that. And you can even use this as your second hook um, holder. You bring it down like that. And then you want to just curve it like that. And there you have it. There you have your hook. So you could just do something like this. And we are done. So it's just as easy as it looks. It's not difficult. You can achieve this in 10 minutes and you're done. I hope you found this very easy and useful and helpful. Leave a comment below and let me know if you've tried this, if it's easy or difficult. I found it really easy and it's just the European style of beads. This would go casual, on casual wares, on native, just name it. It's just a lovely piece, so beautiful. Thank you for watching.